What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Vincent. Today we are back with another reaction. Today we're back into feminist meltdowns for 12 minutes. Now I have nothing against the whole feminist movement and they cause, but I be feeling like some of the arguments they be pushing be making it seem like they don't want to be treated like women no more. Y'all don't want to be treated like females, girls. What's really going on? I thought y'all, the whole point of y'all movement was equality for women. Equal rights, yeah. We want Birkins. We want Birkin bags. Like, oh, I, 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 I thought, I thought it was being treated equal. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what's really going on? For example, I'm walking in the Burger King to give me two whoppers and a fruit punch, and this lady is walking in at the same time as me. And I open the door, step to the side, and say, "After you, madam." And she look at me like she ain't never seen a dumber person in her life. What? What did I do? She say, "Oh, excuse me." I ain't never needed a man before and I don't need one now. Go ahead. Wow. Oh, well, I was just holding the door. I was being polite. All right, y'all want to play like that. All right, when I start walking into places angry and start slamming doors open and letting them fall back on you and your arm, bro, you're going to be talking about my arm. Wow. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Then you're going to be looking at me crazy. Like, then what? Then what? We, we, we're going to talk about what? Equality still? Like, what's really going on? I don't know. I just feel like it's not misogynistic to be polite, show chivalry, you know what I'm saying? If if I'm sitting down and I get up to be like, hey, man, do you want to sit down? There's nothing wrong with that. That is not misogynistic. That is not feminism, anti-feminism. That's not nothing. I'm just being nice. So we're going to get into this video and see feminist meltdowns for 12 minutes. So let's get into it. Let's go. Oh, what the whole fuck is this? Male that doesn't stand for women's rights. Oh. They be so mad. Just go about your day. Agreeing with the business case of the airlines in terms of obesity. That's greed, Lynn, and that's just greed. Okay. Well, I think you're a perfect yeah. example of greed, sweet pea, because you weigh 25 stone. Perfect. Oh. Okay, Art, would you describe yourself as a feminist? Yes. So how do you, do you believe in gender equality? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, <laughs> so how do you reconcile believing in gender equality, but also holding men to their traditional gender roles mm. of paying for the first date? Well, I'm, I'm just Bars. saying that's my personal view. If you, a woman can, being a feminist is just doing whatever you want to do. What? Being a feminist is just doing whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll let you finish. Hold on, finish your point. Feminism is doing whatever you want to do with no accountability or repercussions for you. This better not be on Google. This is 100% legit. This, what the heck? Feminism is doing whatever you want to do with no accountability or repercussions for your actions. Also making sure you get offended by everything a man does. <laughs> because, no, that's not real. That's not real. No way, bro. But, dude, that's exactly like, come on now. You gonna complain about Cheesecake Factory. You gonna complain about, oh, are you paying? The bill is $300. Who told you to order that filet mignon? My meal was only $50. Your meal was $250. No, you, I'm good on that. So I can spend this 250 and you ghost me the next date? No, uh-uh. But, like, that's a good point. I never even thought about it like that. They talk about gender equality and stuff. But how you a feminist, but don't still hold men to traditional stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, wake up. For your actions. Also, making sure you get offended by everything a man does because men are trash. Being a feminist is just doing whatever you want to do. And not being bashed by society for that. And uh, obviously, like like um standing up for like women's like rights and stuff like that do they that. believe but her when it i don't know i just feel like this question's really dense if you believe in gender equality don't you think you ought to split the bill on the first date um no because my main concern with gender equality is through like yes in society like fixing that and through like <laughs> the system but yeah i don't Oh my god. She said a whole huh? lot of nothing. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone <laughs> in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Wow, what a logical response. I mean, you can't argue with that, can you? Let's read the comments. She's so open-minded that her brain fell off. <laughs> <laughs> she was literally glitching after hearing the first question. Not you, the president the you who said you hated you you who she just don't know what she's talking Yankees. about y'all everyone's a feminist until the check hits the table that's facts being a feminist is doing whatever you want to do there you go she said it she exposed the whole movement 
doing whatever you want to do. She sounded like she had two brain cells and they were both fighting for third. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, her head is full of nothing. I don't think there are any risks to eating animal foods exclusively. And you are a psychiatrist, am right, I correct? Right, a residency in psychiatry. So what do you know about nutrition? What is Where any... did you gain your background in okay. nutrition? Listen, this is, I think... No, is you a... listen to me and answer my question. Now I'm asking you I'm... to tell us he where your background emanates from. I went to medical school and I studied nutrition in medical school yeah. and I studied nutrition independently. One of the crazy things about medical school is that it teaches you how to read articles. I'm a doctor. Medicine needs to think about teaching doctors more nutrition in medical school. I agree but with that. it is up to us to educate ourselves. Just because there's a degree that says a doctor doesn't mean that we have or don't have medical nutritional knowledge. The bottom line fair. is you practice psychiatry, am I correct? I practice medicine. I you think practice that the, psychiatry, I is practice that correct? Medicine. Another typical feminist. <laughs> First of all, Lower your tone, Bruh. because I will come over there and throw you across this table and drag you because who are you talking to talking about you studied this I was in school for 12 years. How you gonna tell me what I studied? Bro, that's why I don't understand bro. That's why I don't understand bro Like I be hate when people do that. They be acting like they doctors and stuff Did you sit through 12 years of school? I would be furious if I sat through 30 years of school and just to get out and be like, oh, I graduated. Yes, I'm finally a doctor and have these randoms that didn't do a lick of school talking about uh you don't know what you're talking about. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, all right. All right. It ain't gonna go like that. But, dude, we've been eating animals for thousands of years. Why are we changing now? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like I like burgers. I like hot dogs. You know what I mean? Unhealthy, unable to hold a respectful conversation, dominates and yells over everyone. She asks a question, but then doesn't let you answer. Wow. And if you look at her haircut, her haircut screams Karen. And the like tone of voice <laughs> confirms it. Back to me being really f***ing mad in my car. And I can't guarantee there's not going to be screaming because I'm pissed. One of okay. my best friends posted a TikTok about her experience. And the comments on that video disgusted me. Most of them were men invalidating the way she was feeling. Telling her she's the type of girl that would say catcalling is sexual harassment. Newsflash, it f is. It was either that or saying not all men. Literally suck my d Last year, 57 people in the world, the entire world were attacked by a shark. But y'all are still cautious around sharks, are you not? Do you know how many what? women on average a year are attacked by a man? 3.4 million women a year. So like we have every single right to be a Your makeup trash. You ugly. Your booty flat. What? Okay? You just like, was this oh, You're assuming. I'm a lady. Really? Assuming. Really? You took like me Avatar. a lady and you sitting here coming up on me screaming. Why can't she do Look, that? Look, it's the free world. You want 50 50, you? You? you want 50 50? Yeah, but the whole fucking thing <laughs> I want equality. I, I love it. 50 50 or a whole, motherfucker? No, 50 50. Man, oh, oh, or fuck off. Oh, fuck you. I don't know what whole means. <laughs> 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 Look, another, it's not a lady. Mentally stable feminist. They just have so much logic, don't they, guys? If this was like 50 years ago, they'd be stuck in a mental institution where they belong. No one can tell me this is normal behavior. No one. I don't care. If you think this is normal behavior, there's something wrong with you. I bet her parents are so proud. I mean, look at this. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> you know, that's like an ignorant way to stand, right? Like, what? you're over here. I tell you. I'm actually half that's... handicapped, so that's very offensive that you said that. Yeah, no, yeah. I can probably tell I'm super offended, offended actually. Yeah. yeah. So lying and being a high conflict is part of your personality disorder. What? Why are you looking at women with your fucking eyes? Are you a woman? <laughs> oh my god, so you... Oh, I so couldn't, you, I didn't even know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm non-binary, so it doesn't really matter. I, that's why I asked. What? I was trying to be polite. That's what you should do, right? Feminist getting trigger part five. Stop stalking me, right? Don't ever stalk me again. It's the mailman? Are you talking to me? Yeah. About what? Don't ever stalk me again. Who's stalking me about you. what? You. <laughs> Talk some more. Do it. <laughs> you're crazy. Is that right? Yes, it is. Say to the camera that you're not stalking me. I am not stalking you. Huh. I don't even know who you are. Is that right? That's right. That's you want to give your name? It's the mailman. I don't need to. You want to give me yours? You want to give me yours? Yeah, I didn't think so. I have no idea who you are, lady. 
So, you know, you're dreaming, you think I'm stalking you. Good luck with that. Well, Keep talking, why don't you? What are you doing? Yo, this might be the whitest encounter I've ever seen. That was the whitest encounter I've ever seen in my life. Hey, no racism stuff, I'm just saying. Keep recording, why don't you? Like, hey. Am I wrong? Peter, I just want to get one final thought from you. Are there words that are used to describe men that offend you? Uh, not particularly, and, and if, if there are some I don't like, I certainly wouldn't want them banned. But it go, do you know, it always goes back to that old adage, sticks and stones may break my bones, but there will always be something to offend a feminist. <laughs> well, that, no, that's just obnoxious. Peter Lloyd, you, have to, you have to give me a I chance to we'll respond to that. That discussion. is ridiculous. That, no, hang on, I won't do your show again if you don't let me respond Go to on, that. Go on, Kate, have a word. Come on, that's ridiculous. I mean, that, first of all... That, like... Wow, can you believe it? The irony of that, she just proved his point by getting offended. A feminist got offended by a man saying that a feminist will get offended by anything. It's so ironic. You know, the funniest thing about this woman is she's actually supposedly a comedian. <laughs> Ah, uh, all right, all right. So about that whole, you know, what I'm saying sticks and stones may break my bones. What about the N word though? Like, and we, I feel like, well, no, nah, not all of us, but I feel like majority of us would agree. Like, hey, that's kind of ignorant. You call a black person the N word, and you're not black. You know what I'm saying? It's not even about being black and calling somebody the N word. It's about the ER at the end. You know what I'm saying? You come over here talking about. Arr! Slate, 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 like, whoa, 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 like, whoa, back up, like, that's kind of weird, because if you get punched in your jaw, then, then the sticks and stones, are, I don't know, I'm throwing that out the window. Looks like, okay, it looks like a cell that's 12 weeks, I, it does not look like that, it's a clump of mother cells, no hands are shown through that time, you're just a white friend, this racist male that doesn't stand for women's rights. Hey, hit. Ooh. Get that camera out of my face! Don't touch me, I'll smack you! What? Uh, in this space where we're told up. that our sure. opinions don't count because they're not the right kind of opinions and we're constantly shouted over and talked over regardless of what we look like because there's one group in society that basically takes precedence and it's frustrating so yeah of course <laughs> it's 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 frustrating because maybe, when we try to talk about it we get shouted down we get still. told to be quiet we we get we get spoken down too as well so okay, yeah, there's hostility there for plenty of women Bro, why let's laughing? try to make this an opportunity to speak <laughs> you're literally a white woman from Australia, you live in a bubble and you're pissed that voices that have been silenced forever finally can be heard. That's why they have the voice, because they speak up. If you are making 100k a year, how much would you expect your man to make? Equal or more. Why? Because when I look for a partner, I look for equal. Or if it's more, I'm not complaining, but it's got to be equal. What do you think about this statement? My money is our money, her money is hers. I agree. What? I 100% okay. agree. Why? Our money is our money, but her money is her money, right? She's earning for herself. But like, oh fuck, no. You expect a man to protect and provide for you? Yes. If a man is expected to provide and protect, shouldn't he have some form of authority over his woman? No, not at all. Why? A relationship is 50-50. But it's not 50-50 if his money is our money and your money is yours. She's stupid! That's like... ...the root of racism, what the root of sexism is. And sexism doesn't come from women. So of course it's caused by men. This is a social You don't think women can be sexist? I don't think that women can enforce um, misogyny. What's a load like, of nonsense? No, because it's all... You don't think any women can be women sexist? Women don't uphold the patriarchy, Piers. That is not uphold the case. The, the patriarchy. What's that? You don't know what the patriarchy is. I do, is. but explain it. The patriarchy is basically a structure that puts men at the top of power. Mm. So... The five it's, most, it's not women five, that enforce the patriarchy. The five most women powerful, don't have anything to... Um, the five most powerful people in this country currently are women. Oh. How does that how does that sit with your patriarchy? Oh, she lost. Yeah, she's out of there. On my TV. Go on. Y'all ever realized how
how much more seriously racism is taken than sexism. Like, I just came across this dude on TikTok that was like, if women run the world, there would be no war. It's just a bunch of countries not talking to each other. And it's like, my dude, that's that's sexist. Like, I don't get it. You're going off a stereotype. If someone was like, if black people ran the world, there would only be gangs and thieves. Like, that would be racist. That would be problematic. Like, why is it so normal to make fun of women and like, just accept them as this inferior gender and everything's supposed to be like, a joke? And so if you call them out in the comments, you're just a crazy feminist, but like, it's literally sexist. And it also makes no sense, because if you just pick up a textbook, any history textbook, you'll see that every single problem humans have has been created by men. So you think that they're- Oh, no, no, we're not gonna- We're not gonna skip past that. You're ugly. No, oh! <laughs> if black people around the world, they'd just be gangs and thieves, huh? All right. You don't get your squirrel nose, bat eyed, ugly glasses, poor eye glasses, ugly skin, bogus ponytail, look like a horse with uh, glasses on, look like a goldfish with glasses on. If you don't get your Finding Dory, Finding Nemo, what's up, dude? Surfer looking head, boy, out of here, boy. If I guess the Becky, which I be so. No, what is she talking about? No, that just made me mad because she don't even know. Like, oh, she just compared racism. What? All right, all right. You know. She might have had some black feminists on her side, but hey, what, what she got to say about people that's black and women? What, 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 what you gonna put one over the higher steel? Come on now. Like, come on, see, come on, see, you don't know what you're talking about, you ugly. Aren't real women? Yes. Okay, like what? A lesbian. A lesbian's not a, a real transgender. woman. transgender. Do you think men who take off the body parts and put on women body parts, you know, like brass and all that, and put on dresses. Are they women or are they still? Are they? Yeah, are they women or are they still men? No comment. Sorry, ask the question again. You know how there are transgenders. Uh -huh. Let me do this. What is he doing? Now, and they are confused about their identity. So you heard of Bruce Jenner, right? Oh, he canceled. We all know Bruce is a man. Wow. But he took off. Yeah, she's gone. The body part. Where are you going? I'm leaving. Why are you leaving? Because. What? Because what you're saying is extremely offensive and I'm not going to sit here what? for it. Come and tell me why. Nope. A feminist running away again? They need to run away, don't they? She had to get to her safe space where she's protected from all logic. But anyway, if you got this far in the video, thanks for watching. Oh, that's it? I will see you on the next one. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Man, I don't know about that last one, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. He, even if he was right, I feel like there's no need to be like, hey, like, like, I feel like we don't gotta say it. Like, as long as they're not forcing it on you, you know what I'm saying? They don't, like, you don't got, like, you're never gonna meet Bruce Jenner in your life. You may meet a trans person, but just don't talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, like, they not come, if they come up there up to you and be like, oh, hey, big boy, and you like, oh my God, this is a man, then you be like, all right, get off me. You know what I'm saying? But if, you know, they minding their business, they doing their own thing, I, I really don't have, I really don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to be like, Oh, well, that's still a man at the end of the day. Okay, and if it is, it is. Like, whoa, like, what did he gain from that? Like, he's just an old person. Like, maybe I just got something against old people, you know? Like, but I just feel like that's none of his business and he needs to mind his business. I'm not saying that the one side is right and one side is wrong. I'm just saying the world would be a better place if we minded our business. But that's how I feel. But, like, I don't know which one out of these do y'all think was the craziest. Y'all already know which one I'm going to say. I'm going to say the one where she's talking about racism and sexism. No. Hey. No, no, don't, don't, don't do that. That's gotta be racist. Like, she didn't even have to. She could have made a point without throwing blacks and gangs and thieves in there. What type of stereotype is that? That's not even. Come on, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that, y'all. We're not gonna go there. Yeah, I, I see y'all talking about. Is, is she wrong? No. <laughs> yes. Come on. Nah, get up out of here, man. That was a crazy one to me. Y'all let me know a crazy one to y'all. Hey, y'all don't do the video too much. The comment button, like button, notify button, subscribe button, all of them buttons. Because guess what? <gasps> I don't think the feminists won this one. We're gone.